We're gonna talk about a few things. The most disgusting PC giveaway I've ever seen. 2K followers is under my threshold. Scamming content creators. And there's the re-roll. Tax fraud. So it appears that our boy Noah hasn't been paying his taxes. Abusing employees. I'm scared of him. Like he's done, I've seen him do some horrible things to people. And stealing intellectual property. Not done by a company, but all done by a single person. So in case you haven't heard, yesterday was the pinnacle of all scumminess. A small streamer named Kia Pia was the winner of a PC giveaway being hosted by a company called Artesian Builds. You may have heard of them. They pay a lot of big streamers to partner with them. Some big ones being Ms. Kiff, S. Fan, Amaranth, I believe, and Aiden Ross. Now, this wasn't just a normal giveaway. This was an ambassador giveaway, which means as long as you advertised Artesian builds on your social media platforms, you were eligible to win the PC. However, on this stream, apparently the rules changed because Noah, the CEO of Artesian Builds, said that he would be doing his due diligence to make sure that the person winning the PC was deserving of it. So already... This sounds pretty fucking weird. So this streamer, Kia Pia, is randomly selected as the winner of the PC, and as they're doing a background check on her, Noah decides that she doesn't have enough of a following to be worthy of the PC, so they re-roll it. Here is Noah judging her social media. 2K followers is under my threshold. Three days ago is within my threshold. Long streams, which is good. Let's see if you have redeeming, redeeming qualities. Here is Noah belittling her social media. All followers combined still under 5K, even across multiple socials. I was trying to be generous. Mm, that's a tough one. And then here is Noah happily re-rolling the giveaway winner. And there's the re-roll. Here's the reason, chatter babies. This person has three months of ambassadorship and not a single click. Not a single click. Not even once. Urged. So obviously, if you have eyes and ears, you can easily see that this is fucking ugly. The guy is literally checking to see if his ambassadors, which is basically a shitty name for an affiliate program, has enough clout before he gives away the computer. First of all, that's no longer legally a giveaway anymore. But there is so much more to this story that no one else has talked about. Before we get into it, I just want to say this. Artesian Bills is not bad. Noah Katz, the CEO is. Let me start from the beginning. I bite my tongue a lot. As a matter of fact, I tweeted about it and it was actually received pretty poorly because people thought that I was implying that content creators should always work with me for their PC needs, which is actually not the case at all. I want people to do well. If you're one of my creator friends and you get sponsored to use another PC from a company, I am genuinely happy for you. What I'm not happy about is having to bite my tongue about the practices of the company that you are being paid to promote. And that's not your job. It's not your job to know as a creator what those PC companies do. You're busy and there's no way for you to know all of the issues with computers like I know. For example, last month I drove down to LA to a professional League of Legends player's house to fix their $5,000 gaming PC. That PC was from a company that currently sponsors a lot of my streamer friends. The problem with this PC is that it was overheating to the point where every single time this computer launched a game, it would just shut down. The problem? I went and saw that they used really cheap thermal paste and they used a bad case. All of this could have been solved for less than $100 for a $5,000 computer. Long story short, PC companies suck. But I get it, they have employees, they have to pay overhead, and in bulk orders, things are gonna fall through the cracks. It comes with running such a large operation at scale. But Artesian is one company that I've had multiple run-ins with behind the scenes. If you're a creator with an Artesian PC and I've spoken with you, you've heard me talk shit about them to you privately. In my experience, they are the PCs that I've been asked to fix more often privately than anything else. I've taken a look inside a few of them now, and some of the issues that are caused in there are not issues that are caused by shipping. So naturally, I've slowly been building up a negative impression of them in my mind. And then one day I decided, you know what? I'll stop by their live stream. I type in chat during a build and Noah sees the message and the first thing he says is to the effect of, Oh, Christopher Yee, I saw you did a collab with Lioness Tech Tips. How much can I pay you to get me in a room with him? Ew, nobody does that. I know people are ugly and think what they can get out of others, but that's stuff that they do privately behind the scenes. No one is just upfront and weird like that. So from that point onwards, every time I would see them work with a the creator, I would just privately sigh. And then 
after seeing this bullshit giveaway that happened yesterday, I have now realized that Noah Katz is a content creator's and normal person's nightmare brought to real life. You see, when a normal person goes on social media, naturally they see the highlight reel of other people's lives. That's what people post on social media, all their big moments. And of course, naturally we start to compare and get a little bit insecure. Whenever I see Tanner from high school posting pictures of his trip to the Caribbean, I start to think, damn, I'm not doing enough or damn, his life is so much better than mine. Naturally, I compare and I feel a little bit worse. That's not the entirety of social media, but I would be wrong to say that that isn't a thought that a lot of people have. What Noah has done by measuring and evaluating the worth of a person based upon their number is something that content creators already do to themselves and they don't like it. I would be very interested to find a content creator that has not had the thought at one point or another that their value is tied to their number. It is not a healthy or happy thought to have. Like I get it, right? If you're a company looking to work with other people to advertise your product, naturally you are going to look and evaluate numbers to see if this person is worth the amount of money you're willing to pay. However, all companies at least have the decency to do it privately before they even choose to interact with you. This isn't like a special protocol or anything. This is just human decency. Noah somehow lacks all social awareness and does this to Kia Pia live on stream as well as multiple other streamers, all while denying them a free PC as well as humiliating them in front of other people. Now, someone who understands the United States sweepstakes law a little bit better than I do in the United States needs to look that up because I'm fairly certain what they're doing is illegal. But if that isn't somehow, I know what definitely is. Artesian builds in the merch section of their website are selling stickers with intellectual property that does not belong to them. Tesla, Ryzen, Gurr from Invader Zim. God, my age is showing. Super Mario from Nintendo. Do you have the rights to any of that, Noah? Because I would be very surprised to hear that Nintendo of all companies somehow allowed you to monetize their stuff. Coming back to the original point of the giveaway, I'm actually very surprised that Noah is denying people free computers based on clout. I find this hilarious and hypocritical as fuck because he himself wouldn't even qualify to win one of the free PCs. On top of that, if clout is such an important thing to him, I don't understand how he lives with his YouTube channel. Like I said, they have partnered with big streamers and uploaded those videos onto YouTube. And yet, even with how insanely large some of those creators are, they're only able to pull 2,000 views on S-Fan's custom PC? Like, are you fucking kidding me? S-Fan, the holy paladin of Twitch. An OG streamer. That's the best you could do? I want to believe that part of it is due to the fact that you just built him straight up an ugly PC. Yes, I'm going to attack how this thing looks because as the name dictates, I assume Artesian comes from Artisan. And by the way, Artesian is something about wells. I want to believe that part of that is due to the fact that you just straight up built him an ugly PC. Yes, I'm going to attack how the PC looks because as your name dictates, Artesian, I assume, comes from the word artisan. Artesian is a word that has something to do about water wells. You took 120 millimeter fans and put them in an oversized open air toaster oven. Custom does not mean good. This looks like crap. S-Fan is a creator with so much history and the fact that this is the best you could do is humiliating. He's either the only one or one of two streamers to ever be able to partner with the NFL to live stream the games. How is that reference not incorporated into this build? This whole collab just strikes me as you just wanted to interact with someone who had big numbers so that hopefully your stream would get more viewers, which is something I'm gonna come back to later. And if Noah does happen to watch this video and it seems to be getting personal, it is. I was recently sent this DM as I'm working on this video when I announced it on Twitter. Just to bring it to your attention, Noah has said on his stream how he specifically dislikes you. This was an old stream a few months ago where you were attending Mod Monday with Intel, where Noah said something along the lines of you not deserving to be on the panel of Mod Monday and said that Noah himself would have done a better job. I tried to look through their VODs to find a clip, but their VODs only go back about two months. Feel free to include this in the video, but I prefer not to be named if possible. I worked with them previously in the past to source GPUs, and I'd like to avoid any possibility of retaliation. You sound like a pompous, cocky, egotistical human being that doesn't have the ability to empathize or relate to another human being. And I'm not sure if you know this, but you kind of need that. What else I find interesting is that at the end of this message, this individual shares a sentiment that is something everyone else who has come forward to me about their experience working with Noah Katz. I fear 
retaliation. I was approached by someone who has contact with an ex-employee of Artesian Builds who indicated that she would like to talk. Her name is Candy Berry and we talked for about two and a half hours of the entire fucked up situation that happened with her and Noah while she was working for him without essentially being hired because there was never any contract signed. It's hard to cover everything that happened during that two and a half hour talk, but essentially she had to work a bunch of different jobs, primarily handling the art and the special PCs that creators who were partnering with Artesian Builds were a part of. There was a lot of pressure, stress, and rush that was coming from Noah. And just so you get an idea of it, I will play a clip here and show one of the texts so you have an understanding of what that relationship was like. I'm scared of him. Okay. Like, he's done, I've seen him do some horrible things to people that, like, I'm not going to make as much money as him because people don't, like, buy things like this from black people. And so I, re I, I fucked up by sharing that with Noah because eventually that was what was, like, thrown in my face. Fortunately, she's no longer working with him, but unfortunately, a lot of the art that she created that is still being sold on that website, she is no longer making money from. So in the description, I am putting a link to her website where you can check out her art and her projects so she can properly get the credit that apparently she was never given at any point while working with Artesian Builds. Obviously, as you can see from the interview, this isn't an Artesian Builds problem. This is a Noah Katz problem. I don't want people attacking, like they already have been on Twitter, the other employees of this company. They were wrapped up in the narrative of someone else who knows how to talk and sell the other people working with him a pipe dream. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, okay, well, why not just quit the job if it's that bad? It's not that easy. For three years of my life, I worked for somebody else I believed in, helping them build up their dream. They always told me how I would grow and there'd be these great opportunities and how I was becoming a better person. The reality was that I really didn't like that job and I never even had the balls to quit. Eventually what happened was is that my dad got sick with cancer. That is what drove me to the point of realizing I needed to leave that situation. My point is that it is not easy to get out of situations like that when you have someone above you who is manipulating you. What's interesting is that as I've been making this video, there have been other ex-employees that have reached out who are still trying to talk to me about their experience with Noah Katz. They have asked to remain anonymous, but I will read quotes from the phone call. He manipulated employees in the company to believe the problems and issues were external to him. Yeah, I think part of that came in. If you came in and you're a celebrity encountering him for the first time in short bursts or even the filter of what he can control, he's charming. But when you see, you know, the actor off camera and how those things don't align, it very quickly becomes someone trying to fake a narrative. Whenever there is criticism that he can't worm or gaslight his way out of, he goes silent. On top of that, I've been close to creators who have decided to partner with Artesian Builds. One of them I was particularly close to when I got heavily involved with Grand Theft Auto Roleplay. It's cute because as we got closer, she was still too shy to ask me for help to build her a new computer because she didn't want to overstep that boundary of being friends. So she took an Artesian Builds offer and casually over the last seven months, I have been roasting her about her choice. Hey, look, Luna, a working PC. <laughs> Michael, you can't say that. I got approached about a partnership. I partnered with them. Uh, and that's where things got kind of... Basically, uh, at the time, I had 3,000 current viewers, which is a lot. This is during my big RP boom. Basically, what our teaching does is they go to smaller streamers that don't know their worth or newer streamers that had a boom, such as myself, and they approach them with deals that aren't great at all. Well, let me ask you and this. Very what, naive. What, were you, what were you offered? What was, what, was, what was the number that they came up with you originally? There was no number. I was approached with half off of a PC. What was your deliverables? What did you have to do? They asked every week or every two weeks, you throw like an Artesian promotion tweet out. They would come into my chat every so often and just plug themselves. Did they also, did you have to put any logo or branding anywhere? Uh, Yeah, I also had a logo on my stream. For how uh, long? Oh, for all six months. It had to be on there. It had to be on every stream. So let me get this straight. With 3,000 concurrent viewers, they asked you to pay them $3,500 and they got to advertise on your channel for six months with a yes. very intrusive logo. Yes. 
You know what's funny? You know what'd be actually crazy is if uh, you were a person who needed a new PC and then you were friends with someone whose content was primarily that and then you chose to work with a company instead. That oh, would do be, you know anyone? That'd be funny, dude. That'd be funny. Wouldn't that be crazy you know if you anyone? were a person who did something like that? Sorry, do you know any? I don't know anyone. That's oh, really? Oh, wait. You used to do that, but then you became an RP streamer. Anyways, thanks so much for your time. <laughs> uh, good luck with your stream today. Uh, this was great. <laughs> On top of that, once I announced on Twitter that I would be working on this video, the CEO of V1 Tech, Hassan, who I have worked with multiple times in other collabs for big partnered builds, was aware of Artesian Builds because privately during conversations I had mentioned that they have a similar product that they charge double for. And on top of it, some of the art on their websites are literal exact one-for-one -one copies as V1 Tech. You know what the best part is? What? A guy has a hundred and fifty thousand dollar BMW i8 and couldn't bring uh -huh. himself to give away a two thousand dollar if that PC. That's funny. We should we should give one away now. Do you want to? I was gonna ask. That was one of the other things I was gonna follow yes. up on. Is like, do you want to do a giveaway like off of the momentum of this? Because I'd happily. Let's yeah, let's do it. Okay. And let's um let's and let's do it like this, where whoever wins it gets to pick the theme, and we'll work with them on a video. On actually, um, you know, going through and uh, designing it just the way you would do it for like Ludwig. Mm. So it doesn't matter if they have one follower. We're gonna give them the same treatment. We'd give, uh, you know, one of the offline TV members. <laughs> okay, I'm down. Super gracious of Hassan for sponsoring this PC giveaway, which I will be promoting on my Twitter as well as my Twitch streams. So if you're not following either of those, please do so now. Unless you don't like free computers, which is totally fine. Just sign up for my ambassador program. And last but not least, the one thing I want to note is this. The vibe that I am getting is that Noah doesn't even like PCs. He just really enjoys the clout. Whenever you've done creator builds on your stream, you have asked and implied that those creators should host or rage you after they are done with their live streams. That is weird in and of itself. Even creator friends don't talk about that type of stuff. You never ask for a raid, you never ask for a host. That is completely against the etiquette. That's like saying, hey, give me a shout out. But you've also tried to milk their respective communities for more money. And these streams are basically a way to show the partner build, but also for them to get subs and stuff. And they encourage this by putting those milestones that people do during subathons. You give money incentives by saying, hey, we're gonna upgrade your streamer's PC if you gift us X amount of subs. That is wildly inappropriate. You don't do that. If you are sponsoring someone by providing them a PC or you've already worked out the deals and the terms of your trade, you don't further the deal by now exploiting the community that that creator has built for themselves. You don't have a right to that. Not only is it a weird thing to do etiquette wise, but it is financially really stupid. You will still only lose money by upgrading that person's graphics card because of the cut that Twitch takes after a gifted sub. That's even if you had the better Twitch contract, which I can definitely assume that you don't. You just wanted to flex a bigger number. You wanted to use PCs and others, creators or not, to get a bigger number to become a creator or an influencer yourself. And nothing makes that narrative more clear in my mind than this clip. Neo Judai, great question. Artesian Builds was started uh, a couple of years ago when I had too much cactus juice and wanted to become Linus Tech Tips. And now we sort of are. Sort of. Right. So We're the PC company Linus Tech Tips would have started if they were also a PC company. No. No, you're not. You go live with your peak content at most pulling 400 viewers. Linus can go live with no camera, playing Beat Saber, probably sweating his nuts off and pull more than double your viewership. I've even heard from some of your old employees that you think you are a better PC builder and more knowledgeable on the topic than Linus, Jay's Two Cents, and Steve from Gamers Nexus. What the fuck is wrong with you? Even in your third apology now on Twitter, you sound so reluctant to be having to even say that you made a mistake. So going forward, any ambassador 
is eligible to win the PCs. The last thing that I want to say about this topic is this. Do not hate Artesian Builds. There are plenty of people at that company who are just doing their job. This is not about a company. This is about a person who led people astray to help fulfill his own dreams and narrative. The people that work there are not bad people. They just have a horrible boss. To be honest, I don't see this company continuing to work unless Noah himself steps down as a CEO. I do not want to believe that he's an evil person, despite all of these actions pointing towards that, but there is no way any amount of change could have happened in him as a person in this short a time. Do not work with or buy Artesian PCs so long as Noah is there. As it is, that business does not deserve any support.